Good morning everyone. Today's video about Class 5 Subject Science Chapter 1 Reproduction in Plants Lecture 2 I am your teacher, Hina. In Lecture 1, we have read about how reproduction is done in plants, various parts of plants, how reproduction is done in plants through their parts, like how reproduction is done by roots, okay, and how reproduction is done by stem. We have read this two method of reproduction by the parts of plants. In today's video, we are going to read about how reproduction is done by leaf and seeds. After that, we will read the structure of a seed. So, now we are going to start the video how reproduction is done by leaf. Like, we have read reproduction through stem and root. Now we are going to read how reproduction is done through leaf. Okay. First of all, in some plants like pyrophyllum, small birds are formed on the leaf margin. Small birds are there in the leaf margin only, on the leaf only. Okay. These birds drop from the leaf and grow into new plant. And from these birds, from this leaf only, a new plant can grow. I want to show you the picture of biofilm. Biofilm. Then you can come to know how these small birds look and how a small plant can grow from these here you can see the picture of biofilm and the small bird on the margin of this leaf. Can you see these small birds on the leaf margin? If these birds fell down into the ground, then a new plant can grow from these birds only. Then this is the reproduction of plant through leaf. Now reproduction through seeds. Now we will read how reproduction is done through leaves. Most of, most of the plants grow from seeds. You have seen in your home also many plants are there which grow from seeds only like lemon, mango or many times you have seen that whenever we have fruits and vegetables we take out seeds and some seeds we can have it. Like if you are having watermelon, many seeds are present in it. When you are having papaya, it also have many seeds. But when you are having mango, then only one seed is there. Or when you are having apple, then a few seeds are there inside. Seeds are formed inside the fruit. When seeds fall on the ground, new plants develop from them under favorable conditions. Most common examples of plants that grow from seeds are tomato, ora, old lady, fever, wheat, rice, board, peas, etc. You can see this tomato with the seeds. It this is lady fingers which are, it also has many seeds inside it. And these seeds help them to grow a new plant. Wheat. 
these seeds we eat as a food grain also and these seeds are we used to grow new plant of wheat also same with rice these are seeds we use for food grain also and to grow a new plant this is called vegetable seeds are inside it pea, pea is also a seed we eat as vegetable also if we want to grow a new plant then we use them also now amazing fact you have seen that all the seeds are there inside that fruit or vegetable but strawberry is the only fruit which has seed on its outside a single strawberry has around 200 tiny seeds it's outside you can see in this picture okay you are seeing looking this yellow color seeds you can take out these seeds with the help of fruit peel and you can use these seeds to grow a new plant of strawberry after feeding this reproduction through seeds stems roots and leaves we are going to read the structure of seed this this is the structure of a seed a seed has mainly three part you can look at the picture also first of all seed pod okay next is seed leaf or cotyledon and next one is embryo you can have a look on the seed diagram you can make this diagram in your notebook now the explanation of structure of a seed seed coat is the outer covering of the seed which protect it from drying and germs this outline is of which is there of brown color it is called seed coat and it protect the seed from drying and germs inside the seed coat one or two seed leaves cotyledons are present between these seeds leaves a small baby plant is present between the leaves huh, there is a small baby plant this baby plant is also known as embryo okay and an embryo consists of two main parts a baby shoot and a baby root now the homework in this lecture i told you many fruits have a single seed some have few seeds and some have many seeds so this is the activity based on that i am going to read the activity listen to me here some fruits have only one seed some have a few seeds whereas some other have many seeds give two example each fruit with a single seed with a few seeds and with a many seeds you have to write two fruits that have single seed and two fruit names which have few seeds and two fruit which have many seeds here is the how you have to do homework you have to write this format first of all fruits with single seed fruits with few seeds fruit with many seeds then you have to write two fruits name with single seed two fruits name with few seeds two fruits name with many 
seeds and next you can make a diagram of a seed this structure is given on your screen you can copy this and you can make it in your notebook and you can practice it so now we will meet in next lecture hope you will do your homework and i will discuss this homework solution in my next video have a nice day